Hi, in this video I'm going to show you advanced settings or tips for creating your own custom PS3 theme. So if you head over to the file we downloaded in the previous video, you want to go step 4 advanced tips and click on it here. There we go. This page will tell you how to change the theme's title, change the theme's preview art, change the theme's font, change the theme's color selection, change the themes of the avatar and create a theme with random background images. Okay, to do this you need to en edit the PS3 theme underscore template.xml file which is located in step one create. So I'll just find it here. Okay, can you see that the P PS3 theme underscore template P3T file that's the PS3 theme underscore template XML document. This one that you need to edit. So you right click, go open with Notepad, not XML editor, because that will open in IE, I think. You want to edit with Notepad. And here's the code. Okay. Revert back to your advanced tips. Okay. This document explains everything very clearly how to change stuff. I'll just run through changing the name displayed on the PS3 system of your theme. Okay, so you see here it says name. This is the title. This is a, this is a copy of the code from here. So it says here name this title. Okay. That that isn't the display that isn't the name you see when you put it on the PS3 system. This here where it says localized info name display theme title is the name you see when you want it from your PS3 system I'm going to change it to Punkster Power Theme ok so let's change the theme's title done to add multiple backgrounds, and also as that because there's only one background currently selected in that example theme, you need to go down here and you need to copy that code. Okay, so if you find that code in this document, here, so you want to highlight it all, oops, highlight the whole line. copy, one line below it, and paste it, oops, okay, now you need to change these, the HD background, and the SD background to the file names of the background images, which are stored in the second so here we've got wallpaper underscore HD1, and SD1, so you just add in, you go right click, you just go, you get another one of these documents with this, these dimensions and that file type and paste it in and select your file name, say HD2 for example. Then you go down here and you go, you change that to HD2.jpg and if you have an SD1, you just change it to SD2 for example. But I'm not going to mess around with that because I don't have any of the backgrounds that I've made yet. Okay. So you leave that like that. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. So after you've changed all this code that you want to change, so let's change the URL, for example, to Okay. And I can look the same as this text here. And then I can just change other stuff that I want. Okay, so now you just have to click File, Save, close it, like that. Then you want to create your um, P3T file again. So remember how you do that, you go, you open the other window, this step to assembly, 
when you have that there, then you drag that at the moment. ET compiler. There. You want it? Now it's done. So here it is. And these are but all these dot game files you can just be it fine. So now you can start the same way just before you copy this and if you memory stick in that PS3 column column theme location, then install it onto your PlayStation 3 system. I'll show you that I'll show you that now with my custom settings, so I'll switch to so as you can see in the bottom right of the screen it says Punks to Pals Theme which is which is the name I use which is the name I gave in the XML document I edited. So I'll just go on to the information now and you can see it's got the name, the URL address and who's created it and everything like that. Thank you for watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe and keep up to date.